All right, Whew, that was a long one. Uh, these other pages should go faster uh, because we've knocked out the majority of the styling that will be used on every page. For example, the header, the footer, etc. So let's move on to the articles page. So first off, let's add a link. Let's change this from the stub to um, articles.html. And if we uh, we need to create that file, obviously, save it as uh, articles.html and just say h1, this works. All right, now let's refresh. If I click articles, perfect, it goes to this works. So that is looking great. So I'm just going to copy everything and paste it in here. Make sure to remove that, this works. So we have these styles um, coming up or linked as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this entire middle section just leave the header and the footer, refresh it. There we go, perfect. Okay, so let's go to Photoshop and open up the articles page. So the first thing we have is this uh, banner, uh, and then we're gonna loop through all the articles. So let's style this banner first. What I'm thinking is since that is the title of the page, let's just make it an H1 and add a class of page title. Then inside of here, I'm just going to say stuff I've written and save, go back and refresh. All right. So this needs to be styled a bit differently to match um, our Photoshop design. So what I'll do is I'm going to create a new, actually, let's put this in the application layout. So let's see below the main navigation. Let's add the styling for that. So let's add a class of page title. Actually, you know what? There's never gonna be more than one page title. So let's uh, change this from a class to an ID, and then we'll do ID page title. All right, so what I want to do, let's do a font weight, make it a bold font. Actually, a, a regular font, I'm sorry. So font weight 400. Let's make it aligned in the center. So text align center. Let's add a border bottom of one pixel solid, and we'll use the border color and the padding. Let's do 3M on top and bottom and zero. And for now, let's just save that. Go back and refresh. That looks good. It's probably far too much padding. Uh, let's just try 2M. That looks good. Uh, the font size is huge. Um, back in our design, you can see uh, the focus is on the actual blog posts, and this is much more subtle. So what we need to do is change the font size to one rem. Let's make it text transform of uppercase. There we go. Oh, and you know what? This should actually be a bold font. So let's uh, remove the font weight. There we go. So that looks good. And since it's a lot smaller, Let's bump the padding back up to 3M. Perfect. So next, let's go back to our design. So we have the, everything is centered. Then we have the date and the title and then the HR. Uh, and that is repeated until we get to the pagination. So let's go back to our page. So what I'm thinking is let's add a uh, div with the ID of a post wrapper to go around everything. And then I'm gonna add a class, a different class called a skinny wrapper. Because uh, on the home page, if I go back, uh, this is going 90%. Uh, since everything is centered, I don't want it to go the full width because that would be a bit strange. So for the articles, I'm going to add a skinny wrapper. Let's go ahead and define what that is. Let's go up to the wrapper. So a skinny wrapper. Let's do a width of 80%. So I know that's not much different from the wrapper above, but the difference here is we are going to set a max width of 760 pixels. So that way it will 
stay um, the max would be 760 pixels but once it gets below that it would change to 80 percent of the viewport so um, in addition to that let's add a margin zero auto to center it all right so inside of here let's add a each one in a class of post so dot post and then for each post let's add a date class or p dot date and let's just grab one of the dates friday april 10th all right, and then an H2 and A. So the A tag is going to be stuffed out, and we will say the title. So I'll say the uh, do list. All right, and then below that, let's add an HR. So if I go back and refresh, all right, that's showing up. Let me copy that a few times. Uh, the entire post div. Save. Whoops. Go back, refresh. Perfect. So let's go ahead and style this. So back in, so actually we need to create a new file for this. So I'm going to create a new file under our SCSS folder. And I'm going to say this is post and projects.scss. Um, and the reason I'm doing both is because this is going to be for the post and the projects. And let's bring it over here. All right, so first off, let's grab the post wrapper ID. So inside of here, let's add a padding of 3M and zero. All right, so next let's grab each post. Then inside the post, the first thing is the H2. So let's do a margin bottom, actually a margin bottom of, if I could type, of zero, and then a text align center then also let's make the font size for the H2 uh, 2M and text transform uppercase. So if I go back and refresh, oh, okay. So it's not showing up because we haven't imported it yet. So right after that, let's just copy and paste and change this to post underscore project. There we go. Okay. So we have the padding, everything showing up as it should. Perfect. Uh, let's go above here um, and do the dot date. So the date, let's make it font size of 0.9M, a bit smaller. Let's do a text align center. Um, actually, let's get rid of this duplication. Remove the text align center from each of these and just put it within the post div. Perfect. And then let's do a margin of zero to bring it a bit closer. Uh, you know what? Let me inspect this element. Okay, so let's go back and just do a margin of zero for the H2 and see how that looks. Should bring it a bit closer to the date. Perfect. All right, and the padding, how we're going to do this is we're going to do it through the HR tags. So let's go below the post. Let's do HR. Uh, let's do a width of three rem. Actually, you know what? Um, what I'm going to do is on the application, actually it was the welcome page, this HR, I'm going to copy, copy this and take it out of the home page content. Uh, let's put it on the general page, so the application at SCSS. Let's put it after the typography stuff. Paste that in. So what this will do is if I go back, everything's still good here, but if I go to the articles page, uh, the styling is showing up. The only issue is, uh, let's add some specific stuff to make it uh, centered. So I'm gonna do a margin of 3M auto. So if I go back and refresh, there we go, that's perfect. So last thing I need to do is fix the um, link. So inside of the H2, we have an A tag. So we'll do a text decoration of none. Let's change the color to the dark color. Um, and let's add a hover state for this. We'll do the color of highlight. Perfect. That looks fantastic. All right, so the last thing we need to do here is style the pagination. So I'm going to copy in the pagination that is created by the will paginate gem, which we are going to use for our pagination. 
but if I go under the, um, let's keep it inside the post wrapper. So let's add it beneath the uh, last post. And I'm just gonna paste in the code generated from will paginate. So you can see the, it's wrapped in a class of dot pagination. Then the previous page is in a span. Um, then the current uh, tag is in a M class. And then the rest is just regular A tags. So uh, under here, let's add a comment, say pagination. Then let's go ahead and start styling the pagination. So first off, the dot pagination, uh, these are gonna be floated. So we'll do pagination before and dot pagination after. We'll do content space and we'll do display table. And then dot pagination after we'll do clear both. This is the same as the clear fix, but since this is uh, auto generate code by the will paginate gem, I'm just going to add it again. So let's get to the actual styling dot pagination. All right. So first off, let's do text align center. So let's go ahead and take a look what it created. So if I refresh that, so we have the previous and the one, two, and the next links. It's creating these funky things. Uh, let's just get rid of those arrows. Perfect. All right, so let's do a margin of 3M uh, on top and zero on the rest. Okay, you know what? Let's um, bring this outside of the post wrapper. There we go. Okay. So next let's do dot pagination. Let's select the a, the dot previous page, uh, the dot current and the dot next page. And we're going to add quite a few stylings here. Uh, padding, let's do point, uh, 0.75 M and one rem or one M. Let's do a margin of 0 0.25 M. Let's do a border radius to make it slightly rounded corners, 0.15 M. Let's do a line height of 20 pixels. We'll do a text decoration of none. We're gonna make the background of a white and we actually haven't defined this white variable. So let's define that first. Dark, we'll do white and that's just gonna be FFF, FFF. All right. Now, if we go under that, let's do a font weight of bold. So 700 font size is going to be pretty small, 0.7 M. Uh, font style is going to be normal. The reason we're doing that is because we'll paginate wraps it in M class and I don't want it to be italic. And then let's change the color to dark. So let's go back, refresh, see what it did. Perfect. Let's see why there's so much space there. Okay, so the margin on top is messing it up. Let's make it a margin of, I think I messed up, uh, 0, 0, 3M and 0. So margin on the bottom. That looks much better. Okay, so now the current uh, button, let's style that. Do a dot current. Let's make the background the highlight color and the color, let's make it white. That looks awesome. And the disabled. So for the previous link, when you can't click it, it should have a disabled value. Let's change the color to. Um, we're only going to use this color once, so I'm not going to define a variable. So I'm going to do C0, 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 um, and we'll do and hover, whoops, uh, the same color. That way it doesn't get the same hover effect when we select the other ones. And let's keep the background of white as well, so it does not change. And then for these, let's add the hover effect 
and hover for the A previous, current, and next page. Let's do a background of highlight and a color of white. All right, so let's refresh. Previous is good because it's disabled. Now if we hover over these, that looks awesome. Uh, the last thing I want to do is it seems a little tight to me, so I'm going to bump up this margin to 0.5 on either side. Space it out a bit more. That looks perfect. We're not going to uh, code the projects page because it's going to have the exact same styling. All right, so next let's move on to the contact page.